Hello, I'm Federico Cerruti and this is a teaser presentation of the paper How we design winning algorithms for abstract augmentation and which insight we attain, written in collaboration with Massimiliano Jacquemain and Mauro Vallati. This paper illustrates the work we've done to win the preferred semantic tracks of the second international computation and computational models of argumentation that took place in 2017. In particular, this paper is about the methodology that led to that success, a methodology that can be applied to other KR formalisms and problems. The Dung's argumentation framework is the fundamental reference of the community of argumentation and artificial intelligence. It is composed of a pair of elements, where the first one is a set of arguments and the latter is a set of attacks insisting over arguments. Arguments are the atomic elements in this framework. Therefore, the main goal of reasoning with such a framework is to identify a set of arguments that can survive the conflicts together. There are many ways this can happen, and each way is encoding a recipe that takes the name of a semantics. Across the years, many semantics have been proposed. In the slide, we have considered just the four traditional semantics introduced in a similar paper of Dung, namely the complete, the grounded, the preferred, and the stable semantics. Associated to each semantic, there is a number of decision problems, from determining whether a semantic gives rise to at least one extension, to identify whether an argument belongs to one or all of the semantic extensions, problems that take the name of credulous and skeptical acceptance. As we can see from this slide, for the case of preferred semantics, the skeptical acceptance lies at the second level of the polynomial hierarchy. However, the preferred semantics also hold a set of useful properties, hence its name, such it is always exists and no preferred extension is a subset of another one. When it comes to time to resolve some of the argumentation problems, a useful concept comes to hand, the one of complete labeling. A labeling is a function mapping each argument into one of the three following labels, in, out, or undecided. A labeling is complete if the following condition hold. An argument is in if and only if all these attackers are out, an argument is out if at least one of these attackers is in, otherwise the argument is undecided. If we then maximize the set of in arguments, we obtain preferred labelings. Similarly, if we impose not to have any undecided argument, we then obtain stable labelings. There is a one-to-one -one correspondence between labelings and extension. The set of in arguments of a labelling, for instance a preferred labelling, provides its corresponding extension, for instance the preferred extension. The first step we used in designing our winning algorithm was to search for algorithm variations that can still provide a correct answer to a given problem. For instance, if we look at the constraint associated to the complete labelings by adding information that each labelling must be a complete function, we can create a set of constraints, each of those is guaranteed to return a complete labelling. This figure summarizes the relationship between different set of constraints. For instance, the two set of constraints at the bottom are the minimum set of constraints guaranteed to return complete labeling. Now that we have identified variation that can still provide a correct answer to the problem, we then need a systematic analysis followed by an empirical evaluation to identify the most efficient combinations. This figure summarizes the analysis of the various set of constraints for computing the skeptical acceptance of arguments according to the preferred semantics the problem that we saw being at the second level of the polynomial hierarchy, and this when considering the 2017 argumentation computation benchmarks. In red, the IPC score, the higher the better. In blue, the pattern score, the lower the better. In here, we can see that among the various set of constraints, the first two are the minimal one, but there is a substantial difference in performance between them. Indeed, in the paper we show that uh, the set of constraints identified by the three right arrows is consistently the most efficient encoding for complete labelings, followed by others that, uh, that all have the characteristics of avoiding a specific constraint, the CN deck left, that produces particularly long CNF closes. This was just a teaser of the 40 pages of the paper. In particular, if you are working in argumentation, we show that using an old SAT solver leads to significant improvement when enumerating stable labelings. Enumerating stable labelings first leads to significant improvement when enumerating preferred labelings. And some of the algorithm variances, in particular for skeptical acceptance with respect to preferred semantics, led to significant improvement and they were decisive for winning the 2017 preferred semantic tracks of the international computation and computational models of argumentation. Thank you very much for your attention.